bright as the rain Always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video we are decorating my home with some early spring decor because I don't know about you but I am so ready for spring to be here I just love the bright fresh feeling that spring decor adds to my home and later in this video I'm going to be DIYing some of my cloches and I just think they turned out so stinking cute so make sure you keep an eye out for those so we're starting here by my sink where I always keep some kind of seasonal floral and I found these faux lilacs from Home Goods. I love how realistic they look and they are one of my favorite flowers for spring. I also picked up a bar of lavender soap from Trader Joe's and I'm just switching it out in this little bowl here that I keep by my sink and it smells so good and just really reminds me of spring. And this dough bowl I have shown new decor in almost every video and I also showed a couple different styling ideas over on my Instagram. And surprise, surprise, today we are switching it up again by adding some simple greenery that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is one of my favorite spring garlands that I found. I think the color is perfect for spring and I just love how wispy it is. And then I'm just popping in a little bird's nest just for that early spring feel. And this one is from Michael's. And now I wanted to add some spring elements over here on my pantry. I'm just using this tray that I repurposed a few years back and I'm adding a white pitcher with my dried eucalyptus from Trader Joe's. I love buying fresh eucalyptus and letting it dry out in a pitcher like I did here. The leaves turn this light, almost silvery green color and I think it just looks so nice this time of year. I also pulled out a lot of galvanized metal pieces to use for spring like this bucket and I'm just adding some faux thyme from Ikea into that. I, I found a star, I found a star in you Always guided me to where my words are true this beautiful terrarium and plant are also from Ikea, and I think they are a great transitional spring decor piece. I'm also adding them above my fridge so the glass will reflect light from the windows and also make this space just feel really cozy. I could not pass up these little potted daisies from Target and I thought they would look really cute on my pedestal here in the corner just to bring a little life to this area. My dried lavender from Whole Foods is still holding strong. This is the same stuff I had in my dole bowl with the lemons. And for spring, I decided I would switch it up and put it in a little crock. So I'm just gonna trim the ends so it can fit here and I'm gonna put it right next to my stove. hard 
I just adore this little peg rail on my island. It was a really affordable DIY and I love hanging different pops of colors and textures here for each season. I'm going for a cottagey spring feel, so I'm displaying some of my favorite antique copper finds with a spring wreath. And these items just scream springtime to me. I love how lavender looks with galvanized metal, so I'm incorporating both to my kitchen ladder. And I will make sure to link this one down below, as well as anything else I show here that I can find links for. This ladder is another piece of decor that I love switching up seasonally. Now I'm using my Mrs. Meyer spray in the scent Peony to spray down my dining room table. I had a very fun early spring tablescape idea in mind for this space, but I'm not sure if it turned out a little too much like Easter, so you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Love these simple stems for a really easy spring look. Hobby Lobby has some of the most realistic looking greenery in my opinion and it's also very affordable. So a lot of what I use in my home comes from Hobby Lobby. I'm also adding these cute little jute plate mats and bunny plates that I found at TJ Maxx last season. I hope they bring these little bunny plates back because I would love to buy two more of them. Next up is my hutch, and I love decorating this area with a rustic vintage vibe. So I'm adding these real tulips from Trader Joe's, and I'm just transferring them into a little metal container just to give it a more farmhouse feel. And these are the only living flowers in my house at the moment, and I fully do not expect them to make it to spring. I have such a black thumb, but also I couldn't resist these cuties, even if it's just for a couple weeks. I'm not sure if they have them out this year, but the Target Dollar Spot had these really awesome white and brown wooden eggs last year, and I had grabbed so many of them to use as decor around my house. So these are some extras that I picked up last year, and I thought they would look cute in this little basket with some straw to kind of look like a little nest.
found this little wooden ladder at a vintage shop, but I did see one similar on Amazon that I will link down below if I can find it. Also, the sheet molds were from Michaels, and I believe they are carrying them or something very similar again this season. And I just absolutely love how this hutch turned out. It's definitely giving me early spring vibes. I confess I let you in on everything Even the fact that I'm upset And if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy you clicked on this video. My name is Jessica and I love making decorating and homemaking videos like cleaning, organizing, and just making our home feel cozy. I upload these types of videos here on my channel twice a week, so if you are interested in that, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, thank you so much for your support and I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm draping more of that same Hobby Lobby garland that I love over this ladder and adding a basket from Target with a blanket and flowers from the Hearth and Hand line this year at Target. I also thought this lantern from TJ Maxx looked really cute here as well. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? I love how simple, bright, and clean the spring decor looks. I think that's one of the reasons I love decorating for spring. It's just one of the only seasons where I take a less is more approach and just incorporate subtle notes of spring to my existing decor and just let my home breathe, if that makes any sense. It really makes me wonder. it would be fun to add some decor to a couple of my cloches for spring. Everything I'm using here is from Michaels, including these adorable little floral picks. My original plan was to cut off pieces of the floral and stick them individually into the foam, but then I realized that I really like the pick as it looked, so I'm just going to bend down the stem and poke it through the bottom of the foam so that it holds in place. And I'm just gonna use a little nest and some moss to fill it in around the bottom. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? To winter comes It really makes me wonder
I am so happy with how these turned out. They were so simple to put together and affordable. I like to try at least a few DIYs for each season so I can have some unique pieces in my home. Come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are. It really makes me wonder. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you are subscribed. I have a ton of cute ideas as we approach spring and Easter, including some more easy DIYs. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.